For 30 years, Javier Garand Emer of the Paris-based fashion empire collected stunning North African jewelry and historic photographs. Highlights from the collection were on display recently at the Museum of African Art right here in Washington, D.C. VOA's Carolyn Turner has more. The jewels exhibit reflects the rich culture of North Africa. Some 80 pieces of jewelry and photographs are featured from Algeria, Morocco, Egypt and Tunisia. There are simple ornaments that will be worn by a child and elaborate necklaces for women of wealth. These jewels were collected by the fifth generation owner of Hermes of Paris. Curator Berna Freyer says it was very popular for Europeans to collect such jewelry. Monsieur Hermes has a home in Paris and for many years has had a second home in Morocco. And this just is something that became in interesting to him as a personal collection, both the jewelry and the photography. But it sort of puts him in a, a long line of, of, of European collectors who went on the great tour and brought back objects. Uh, he just took it to an entirely new level of collecting and scholarship. The elaborate jewelry worn by North African women includes wedding necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and fibula used to keep veils in place. The jewelry is crafted from pendants, colored enamels, and precious or semi-precious stones, silver, coral, and coins. Chief curator Enid Schildkraut pointed out her favorites. Some of my favorite pieces are like the children's amulets that just um, are prayers for well-being, that protection for people, and I find that um, wearing jewelry as a kind of protection is kind of a nice idea. She explains that the jewelry is believed to protect the wearer from jealousy of other people, bad luck, and ill health. Many materials are thought to have protective and healing qualities, as well as symbolic meaning. Silver is linked with honesty and purity. Red Mediterranean coral is worn to promote fertility and to prevent harm to children. The hand, or kamsa, is a shield against the evil eye. Much of the jewelry served a functional purpose, to hold perfume. In the old days when you had to oh, the desert wind blowing, or you had to go to the market uh, with donkeys or something. Uh, there, there, was, there would be nothing like having your own little extra shot of perfume around, uh, your, uh, around your neck. The most important photographers of the day are represented in the exhibition, including Scotsman George Washington Wilson, the Nourdine brothers from France, and the Turkish photographer Pascal Sabah. Many of the images were used as postcards, while others are from private collections. The African jewelry and works of art reflect social codes rarely seen by Americans. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.